Hello, Leos. This is an X reading for you guys for the 17th through the 23rd. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What do my Leos need to know? Leo. Let's see what your relationship was like in the past. Hmm. I think it was happy. But I think it was it was a little one-sided. I think um, I think you guys were mostly happy just being with the person. Maybe your love did not. Um, maybe you weren't that in love just yet. Let's see. Hmm. I think, you know, this may be you at the bottom, Leos. But <laughs> I think that you were very, they were very passionate. <coughs> this relationship was very passionate. But I do feel like it was kind of one-sided. Like somebody probably you know, love the other one a little bit more, either the other person felt that way. That they loved um, you more than you loved them or vice versa. Um, maybe the relationship was um, a little one-sided in the fact that one of you had more say than the other even, okay? Maybe there was a lot of um, bossiness going on one side or the other okay let's see how you guys view the relationship hmm. i think there were very deep feelings and emotions here but i don't think that it was shown or spoken a lot i think a lot of it was hidden maybe there are a lot of secrets here as well a lot that you really did not know about the other person Hmm. Let's see how they view the relationship. Hmm. Well, I feel like this person felt like, you know, this was something that was meant to be. Like this was going to be it for them they felt like you guys um were supposed to be together and i don't think they could quite put their finger on why but it was just a feeling that you guys were, were supposed to be or meant to be together here i also feel like this is a relationship that possibly was like a second go around or even a third go around. Hmm. Let's see what your current situation is like. I think a lot of you want to actually start over. Um, maybe you are currently dating or wanting to date to try to um, get your mind off of this situation or either they're dating wanting to get their mind off of this situation but the fact remains that somebody does want to start over here somebody's very passionate about starting over here excited about it even here again I get whenever I see the ace of wands especially like with the judgment and the Ace of Cups being there, I feel like this is a situation where um, the plan was for you guys basically to be together for the duration. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But there is something that they're starting new or you're starting new that you're excited about. You're excited about it. You feel like this is something that is possibly meant to be. What's going on right now? Their current situation is they're trying to get their money up. Um, but, you know, with these two kings here, this is a very committed person. 
very committed person. I think um, they were their focus was on you a whole lot in the relationship. They felt like the you know the the relationship was mainly about you. It was all about what you wanted, and um, I think now they decided that you know it's about them and what they want. <coughs> Excuse me. And what they want is a co committed relationship. They don't want a relationship where it's strictly sexual or they feel like it's more about the sex. Um, they want something that is like, that's going to, you know, stand the test of time, I feel. And they, they are looking for that currently. You may not be looking for that. You may be looking, even though you, you really care about this person. I feel like currently, though, you're not really focused on the duration. You're focused on like the right now and what feels good to you. It's kind of what I'm getting here. Let's see how you perceive your ex. Hmm. Maybe you perceive them as having options. Maybe you can see perceive them as hmm, being confused. Maybe you perceive them as having started a new relationship here. Maybe you think they're pregnant because I almost said conceive. Um, or trying to have a family with someone even. But you're kind of confused about them overall at this point. You're not really sure what to think. Now, how they perceive you is that you probably need to get yourself together, get your life right, as they say, um, that you need to balance out your energy. Maybe they feel like you guys are kind of aggressive or bossy, overbearing even. Um, they feel like, you know, you just need to kind of get your temper under control, maybe be a little more emotional. Um, show some emotional motions here. Something of that nature. As I was getting ready to start shuffling again, I see the High Priestess here under the bottom of the deck, which is the energy overall. There's a lot that you guys do not know about each other. There is a lot that has gone unspoken. Um, there's a lot of healing, hidden feelings. And there's also a lot that you guys um, have learned from this person. I think this person probably has a lot of healing energy. Um, so it's kind of take, making you take a look at yourself even. But it's kind of confusing you. Whatever emotions you have going on right now, it's like it's kind of got you out of sorts. Okay. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. Look at that. <laughs> you're really not sure. You're kind of confused. You're confused about this person. I think that, you know, you guys have probably been dreaming about this person even. Daydream about this person when you're at work, when you're out with your friends. There's a lot going on with you right now that you are, you know, you're quite confused about. Because I think you guys have made up your mind that you were done with this situation. But then we have these aces here, which are starts, new starts. But you're confused here about this person. Hmm. I think you know in your heart what you want to do. But you haven't quite made a decision, you know, just yet about what to do. How to do it even. Let's see how they feel about getting back together. I think they're willing to talk about it. Um, they probably were very emotional before, but um, I think they would be up for a conversation about reconciliation here with the Temperance and the King of Swords. I feel like this person, um, this person does have a nice balance currently of you know water and fire, their emotions and their actions. I think they they kind of know what to say, when to say it, how to say it. Um, you know, they know how to deliver a message, a message without like, you know, getting on 10, I feel. 
They seem to be, you know, pretty grounded here. Now they have three kings. That means that they are pretty darn balanced here. Um, this is this is a good person. This is a good person, my Leo friends. Okay. Let's see what you can do to help this along. Hmm. I think you guys need to get up and realize that um, all is not lost here. To stop feeling regret. To stop focusing on what it is that you have lost and realize what you still have. Because there is still love between the two of you with these two of cups back here. Do what's in your heart. Do what's in your heart, okay? Let's see what they can do. Hmm. I think there is still some healing that they need to do for sure. Um, I think they are getting their, um, they're getting some balance back in their life. They're taking some time out for themselves. They need to rest, I feel. I think this person is, you know, <laughs> they put on many hats. They, they do many things. And this person probably has a family. They probably have their own business. And they probably talk a lot, you know, with their business. They have their hands in a lot of things. And I feel like they just need to kind of take a time out to address the issues with you. But I think they're doing everything else but. I think they just kind of let it go. And um, I think that is the need for them to really kind of let this go. Whatever, whatever happened between the two of you, just kind of let it go. Um, be willing to discuss issues if they need to. But um, I think, yeah, they just need to be calm, I feel. And I think they will be if you guys want to address them. Let's see what the potential outcome is here. Two of Cups. I'm not going to even speak on it because I just got through talking about that. There is definitely love here. Undeniably. Undeniably, okay? They're waiting on you. They're waiting on you to bring this information to them that you still love them. I'm getting that strongly. Or either you're waiting on them. Only you guys know which side you actually fall on, okay? But, I mean, it's clear that somebody is waiting on the other one to say, hey, you know what? I do love you. This is a decision to be made. Somebody needs to make a decision to actually go towards the other one and say, hey, I do love you. Okay? So, my Leo friends, that's what I have for you. And I'll speak with you soon.